city volunteers were mobilized to evaluate and provide aid to the flooded areas of southern Malaysia. Italian city volunteer Ling Chen Jiahui collects plastic waste in Nanmen Market every day to help the environment. Welcome to Dive Headlines, I'm Joe's Ho, thank you for joining us. In the southern Malaysian state of Pahang, rising water levels flash flooded many residential areas. City volunteers immediately gathered to help with the post-flood cleanup and provide a duvet and daily supplies to the shelters. The heavy rain led to the collapse of river embankments. Pahang Malang district and another nearby township was flooded with urban areas and roads covered in mud. The river has been quickly rising up. At that time, people were already asleep as it was after midnight. It's such a coincidence that it rose so quickly in four hours as it was too fast to be prevented. This piece of wood was covered with flood water, so it is now peeling. It was flooded here, and that's why the rooms are like this. We can't live here right now. We use stools to lift things up, but even the mattresses was flooded. Just one month after opening the store, it was flooded. Will this be a big loss for us? Yes, there will be a heavy losses because new clothes were flooded. Everything is laid to waste as residents are busy cleaning their homes and volunteers go from house to house to calculate the damage. This is the biggest flood in history. We have had such a flood and we never even thought about it, as it suddenly the water flooded to a height of seven or eight feet, or five to six feet. Whatever furniture you had will be ruined. Visiting the urban areas during the day and visit the evacuation centers at night, thin quilts laid on the floor showing the distress that many people feel. Some families of five only receive one quilt. It is quite pitiful for them. Today our flood relief team decided to give them 67 cotton quilts. Thank you, Suchi, for coming here to learn what we need. There are many victims here, and what we need most are quilts. Send the necessary assistance, and time helps these survivors quickly settle down and feel at ease. Due to the pandemic, many Myanmar families in the lower sectors of social economic status are facing financial difficulties. City volunteers visited North Dagon village in Yangon to distribute up to 48 kilograms of rice per family. Some of the residents were so touched they found ways to contribute back to Tzi. <laughs> Under the pandemic, young people have dedicated their time and strength to help people in need. Due to the pandemic, many poor families face financial difficulties. The breadwinner does not have work, and the family can only go hungry. We know that many people have a hard time because of pandemic. We have come to help everyone. City volunteer Kiki Ming, who has injured her leg a month ago, still insisted on helping out. I'm ideal when I am at home. Instead of wasting my time, why not come out and do something to form good affinities with people? I want to encourage my fellow countrymen. Residents with strong bodies help the elderly infirm residents carry the rice home. Yuan Minmind has received 500 kia tip, which he donated to Ziji. I really want to make donations, but I do not have money, so I help people carry rice and donate my tip. The supplies that you gave us are worth more than 10,000 jats, and I can only donate a little money. I feel embarrassed. Many people learn from these men and donated tips from carrying rice. Despite the pandemic, love has not disappeared. 
And Lian Chen China, 76 year old Tzu Care recipient Mr. Wu, suffered a stroke two years ago and has been bedridden ever since. Tzu volunteers visited before Chinese New Year's to help clean up the house and also bought a new bed and blanket. <laughs> 76-year-old Wu Jingshui has suffered a fall and also had a stroke. His looks are much older than his age, and he sleeps on the metal support of the bed. For the past two years, he has done his businesses all on the spot. Mr. Wu is a new Tzu care recipient. When volunteers were sending winter warmth in Liancheng, they came across his case. While the weather had not turned cold, volunteers sent a special gift for Mr. Wu for the new year. We only come once in a while. From today onwards, you have to spend a little more time and effort to care for your father and also your mother. Her body is also quite weak. Besides cleaning Mr. Wu's room, volunteers also brought a new bed and also a blanket. This new blanket is for you. Take a look. Do you like it? You do? The new blanket is from the master. Right now your father is weak. You need to have more patience when dealing with him. If you are free, you need to help him change the bed sheets. Now that he's wearing diapers, you need to help him change. There's no need to wash anymore. I know that you're busy working, so we just try our best to maintain his cleanliness, okay? After listening to the volunteers' reminders, Mr. Wu's daughter finally knows how to take care of her father. On this day, the one shy daughter also had the courage to express her love towards her father. I'll do my best to maintain the cleanliness of the house. I'm very happy because I finally saw the smile on my father's face. With the love from his family and also Tzu volunteers, there's finally a smile on Wu Jingshui's face. This smile is the best gift for the Wu family to welcome the upcoming new year. An elderly living alone in Colombo, Sri Lanka, visited Tzu liaison office to seek for help. The solitary senior suffers from oral cancer and is unable to take care of his living environment. Eleven Tzu volunteers visited to help clean up the house and bought food for days to come. This house is without electricity and hasn't been cleaned for a long time, so incests are everywhere. Every piece of furniture that was moved out is very old and damaged. Even the accumulated dust on the floor has been removed by vigorous brushing. The one who lives here is a solitary senior called Rumalisana. He suffered from oral cancer many years ago. Like in people's care, he went to Colombo Chizzi liaison office to seek assistance. Hence, Chizzi volunteers came to clean his house on a national day in Sri Lanka. Volunteers bring an electricity generator and tools to repair bed, table and cabinets one by one. The biggest challenge is the toilet, where sediments are deposited in the drain. Volunteers squat down and bend over to brush, just to give him a comfortable place to stay. I'm very happy and very grateful for Tzuji's help. I don't know what to say. Nothing can express my heartfelt gratitude. Yeah. The solitary senior usually cooks on his own, so Tzuji volunteers have prepared food for him, and they will continue to visit him to provide needed assistance. The new 12-year curriculum has been implemented for more than a year now, but many controversies still persist. One of the biggest arguments is on the learning progress reports, which can be time-consuming but may be useful for university entry. At 8 o'clock in the evening, Mr. Chen, who was in charge of a marketing business, was not home for long before his son asked him to help on another task. Yeah. 
His only son is the first student studying under the new curriculum, and he's going to Elan's Water Geothermal Square for a field visit associated with an elective course in natural science. For this task, parents also have to participate. If they are going to somewhere far away, for example, some place like Taiping San, for example, going from Taipei City to Taiping San, the trip could take two to three hours. Students don't have the transportation, and if they take the bus, and there are a few buses, and if they don't get the bus, they may not be able to return. Sometimes I'll accompany them on these trips. Students often use weekends and holidays to travel afar for midterm and end of term reports. We have to do intensive visits, exploring and going into the field to record our observations and post a report. Many people turn in essays along with photos and videos, which need to be uploaded. Don't think it's just uploading files as students like Chen, who are involved in the new high school curriculum, are taking their learning process seriously. For example, 2022, such reports will also be included as reference for college admissions. However, since starting the new curriculum, many teachers and students have a few complaints. We are adding an option to let students add files from their past learning history, but what universities look at it is what students actually pick from their learning history to show universities. At the end, universities can only see three items. Each student can upload six items per year. That is to say, there can be a total of 18 items uploaded, but they have to select just three of them to pass on to the university to see. These exquisite covers, pictures, and text, as well as content, are not part of a textbook, but are actually a paper copy of a learning history file on a special topic. To avoid misunderstanding by the public, a university representative stepped forward to discuss the matter with the university professor also coming forward to clarify any questions. All departments will definitely look at the review materials, because the review materials are the only way we can actually get a closer look and see the students. It will care about them and will look to see if they have taken related courses. And after completing the course, maybe their grades or maybe the reports that they produce in class, they should all write about their experience in class and whether they were motivated to learn. Although universities have stated their principles in selecting the best talent, some universities believe that there are differences between urban and rural areas when it comes to learning, and it has even evolved into an arms race to attract the best high school students. Now, someone offered a price of 2,000 USD for the report of writing review, and it was done perfectly. In the past, the gap between rich and poor was highlighted when the book review was used, because you will see that the child of a rich family had done it with an expert. Learning history files may be very important, but many parents and students are not yet familiar with the new system. Xu Yunzi, the first student at the new curriculum at Zhongli Senior High School, especially set up a high school student information website and uploaded articles regularly to share his learning experience. The main purpose of learning history files is to be a tool for further reference, allowing you to know yourself better. So if you look at it just as a means of entering a better school, then you'll definitely feel that it could be very painful. Calmly discussing the internet, what he has encountered is part of Xu Yunzi's experience with the new curriculum. After digesting this information, he sorted out the most useful information for high school students. Unexpectedly, the response to his website exceeded expectations. This website has a high browsing rate for about three months. There are 800,000 page reviews. Many people who respond and ask questions are mostly parents or teachers. Xu's approach is also in line with autonomous learning in the new curriculum. Perhaps those who win in this new educational system will be the fastest to master information, know how to make the transition from school-based to student-based curriculum, which gives students more autonomy in learning. As long as you do more and understand more, you will naturally achieve good results in education. Nanmen Market is a famous traditional market in Taoyuan City. A city volunteer Ling Chen Jiahui that lives nearby visit the market every morning to collect plastic waste, practicing environmental protection diligently. While collecting recyclables here, someone is calling from the other side. At the Nanmen Market in Taoyuan City, some vendors do not know her name, yet they are very familiar with her. 
I just think that this elder is very clean. She keeps collecting recyclables every day. Even though she's dripping with sweat in the summer, she still does the same. I'm so touched by her action. So I help collect recyclables from the neighboring vendors and give her. From the whole morning to noon time, she keeps collecting recyclables. I really admire her spirit very much. When compared to the youth, she's very great. When I close my store at noontime, they already finished collecting recyclables. So I gather the plastic bags and put them in a big bag, waiting for her to collect the next day. 18-year-old Lin Chen Jiahui, her husband's family has a deep connection with vendors. She also promotes environmental-friendly ideas in the market. She told us not to kill pigs and suggested to replace real pigs with noodle pigs in Pudu offerings. I said it's fine. I put 50 NT dollars into coin bank every day for making a noodle pig for the Pudu offerings in the market. While respecting folk beliefs, everyone can still protect sensuous beings, praying for the peace of the whole world. Taoyuan Tsuji volunteer Peng Zhengwei witnessed many family conflicts over care responsibilities working in a hospital, leading to his dedication for helping families in need. He volunteers at Tsuji Ba De Jing Si Ho's second-hand assistive device storage and help with deliveries to the needy families. After a gap of two years, Volunteers have made the visit again to Xie Meirong's husband. The visit happened after Xie Meirong's husband suffered a stroke as a medical electric bed is needed. The original device malfunctioned, thus Tsuji received a request for a replacement. Because he doesn't get up on his own or walk, every time he eats I have to hold him up. Every time he gets up, I'll have to lay a pillow. Carrying him is tiring and without his bed he cannot function properly. Especially since the husband is the breadwinner of the family, once he's down, the entire family is affected. So I think helping them and seeing their situation improve really gets me motivated. A security guard at a hospital, Peng Zhengwei, has seen many situations in life. After work, he continues to help others in need. Sending the best immediate care to families in need. I'm very grateful to you. After I applied online, you came here with the device immediately. This helps me a lot and I feel more at ease. Since I wouldn't fall asleep, as I worried about my husband getting up, I don't worry now because he has a handle. Seeing the patient's family smiling and releasing their stress brings me the greatest joy. The devices provided now have a second home as it also provides comfort and convenience to families in need. Here's to hoping that Peng Zhengwei continues these good works. Due to the spread of COVID-19, 3 million people in Indonesia became unemployed. In West Java, a corporate foundation started a CSR initiative, helping small business owners with skills training and financial support, fueling small businesses to embark on new journeys. According to numbers published by the Ministry of Cooperatives and Small and Medium Enterprises, in 2019, mid, small and micro enterprises in Indonesia contribute to 60% of the economy, which is also 14% of total exports. During COVID, these mid, small and micro enterprises must come up with innovative products to attract the market and stimulate the domestic economy even more. Optimistic about the development potential of local small, mid and micro enterprises, Astra International, an Indonesian conglomerate, is helping 2,000 enterprises by providing them with the necessary skills and marketing training, or even financial support and helping to register for a business license as part of their cooperative social responsibility under their foundation. Pola pikir UKM yang tadinya, uh... What the small business enterprises cannot achieve on their own will help boost their confidence in the matter and then do as much as we can to support them. 
In West Java's Bogor, they have assisted 33 enterprises to break through the market and leave the difficulties of COVID behind in one small village. Astra International has established an institution there aimed at developing the metal industry because most of the villagers are in metal processing. Here, there are professional trainers to teach and raise the level of quality. Riza is a prime model of how this program has benefited from the partnership. Before COVID, his furniture company did direct sales from manufacturer to customer. After joining the program, I've understood a lot about the standards for manufacturing and how to check for quality. It has helped our growth significantly. This village is the 16th village that has partnered up with the foundation. The final result of it all is to achieve economic independence by strengthening small, mid and micro enterprises and further absorbing farming labors. In Bulga, West Java, Indonesia, a new startup waste management company is turning plastic waste into non-toxic and weight-bearing paving blocks following years of research. Let's take a look. According to numbers by the Ministry of Environment and Forestry, Indonesia produces about 1 million pieces of plastic waste each minute. To help reduce plastic waste, three young people from West Java have successfully come up with an eco-paving brick made from plastic bags. The most important thing is to raise its value. We have finally come up with this eco-paving brick. Eco-paving is a paving brick made from plastic bags and fine sand. The process includes grinding up the plastic bag and mixing it with fine sand in the machine. Lastly, is forming it into a brick. Of course, these bricks have been tested for safety to assure its quality and non-toxicity. Kemudian ada pertanyaan lagi, seberapa aman sih paving ini begitu? Karena kan, aduh ngeri nih dari sampah begitu ya. We had doubts whether the eco-paving brick would be safe to use. We were curious, so we sent to the lab to check for toxicity. It was done in a nationally accredited laboratory, and the results came back proving that it's not toxic. The three graduates of analytical chemistry explained that one eco-paving brick uses up 600 grams of plastic bag waste. Kita untuk hasil akhir paving bloknya adalah 1,2 kg. A paving brick is as heavy as 1.2 kg and half the ingredient are fine sand, while the other half is plastic bags. The quality is good. It can withstand a weight of 100 tons. Kualitasnya sangat sangat bagus. Kita sudah uji tahan terhadap 10 ton, gitu ya. Dibandingkan dengan paving blok konvensional. While it's important to recycle plastics, the company feels getting to the root of the problem, which is reducing using plastics, is the real solution. The fourth annual visually impaired charity run to pilot from Taipei December last year. With a daily coverage of 43 kilometers, the runners are raising funds and love for six social welfare organizations this year. Thank you for joining us and see you next time.